meetings. Okay, let's call the meeting uh, to order, please. Uh, if you'd have the roll call. Dave Waddington? Here. Dan Delahunt? Here. John Fike? Here. Walt Matthews? Dr. William Siemens? Here. Greg Pujo? Here. Okay, uh, have you ever had a chance to read the minutes of the previous meeting? Minutes? Yes. There's no corrections, and we'll need a motion to approve. Uh, move to, pro to approve as presented. Second. We have a motion to second. Any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Minutes are approved. Okay, this is an adjudic adjudication hearing, so if anyone's going to be giving testimony, you'll need to raise your right hand and be sworn in. Repeat after me. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Okay, you are sworn in. The first item is at uh, 7 to 4 West Adams Street. It's a uh, variance of the zoning code 1145.17G to allow construction of a fence six feet tall on the side yards where the code states that fences may not be more than four feet tall on the side yards. We have the staff comments. Is there anything additional you want to add? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The parcel in consideration tonight is zoned R2F two family residential. To the north, east, south, and west is also zoned two family residential. The surrounding uses, uses of this property are both residential and also vacant land. The existing use of this parcel is residential. The proposed use is staying residential. The applicant wishes to build a six foot privacy fence into both side yards at 704 West Adams Street. The zoning code restricts fences to a height of four feet along the side yard of a house. The reason for the six foot fence in the western side yard is to have some of the home's side door entrance to be inside of the six foot fence to allow the applicants to let their dogs out from their side door into the fenced area. Um, the reason for the fence on the east side of the house is to maximize backyard space. They do have a rather small backyard. The edge of the fence would be set back an estimated 47 feet from the front property line, and that's both fences. They'll be um, at the same exact point, so 47 feet each on both the east and west sides. The west side yard, the property to the west is, is vacant land. Staff has determined that the fence placement on the west side would not negatively impact the neighboring property. The east side, the staff has a uh, decided the site plan proposes the fence to be placed in the neighboring structure, which appear, appears to fall on the property line. This disconnects the neighboring property from access to the rear of the structure, which abuts the property line. However, it appears that an existing chain link fence is in place today, which creates a similar condition. Um, in the interest of both parties, a maintenance access agreement could be a solution for this between these two property owners. And that is the applicant's property and also the property to the east on the corner. Due to the large setback proposed for the proposed fence, excuse me, from the front property line, and also the small backyard characteristics of this property, planning staff supports the requested variance at 704 West Adams Street and suggests the following conditions upon approval, and that's that all necessary permits are obtained through the building, engineering, and division of planning prior to any construction. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions? From the board on that. Okay, is there anyone in the audience who wish to speak in favor of this request? If so, you'll need to come to the podium, state your name, address, so we know who you are, and they can record it. Hello, my name is Ashley Warner. I reside at that residence. I'm the owner. All I'm doing is really replacing an existing chain link fence and then having easier access for my dogs to get to my back fence. It's already a fence there. I'm just kind of improving it. And I really would like this done. And I really would like everybody to approve. Thank you. Anyone else who wish to speak in favor of this request? <laughs> Okay, does anyone wish to speak against the request? Um, my name is Geralina Sheffrath. Um, I am the neighbor, I own the vacant lot to the... Yeah, be to the west. West of the property. Um, honestly, I don't have anything against the fence, but I would really like to get a survey so that we can establish where those lot lines are. We have some plans for that yard also. So we really don't want to have them put a fence up and then 
have the lot line be somewhere else. So I'm not against it. If there's any way I could have time, I have a phone call in the survey person hasn't called me back yet um, to get that survey in place unless they've already done a survey, just so we know where that property line is. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wish to speak in favor or against this request? I'm Don Corley, 403 Fulton Street. I'm the property owner to the east. So the two pieces of fence that are being replaced are attached to my property. I'm not opposed to the higher fence. Uh, speaking with Ashley, she's assured me that if I need to get access to the rear of my property for maintenance purposes, which I will have to do, that uh, you know we can work that out between us. So. Based on that, uh, I'm, I'm not opposed to it. Well, while you're right here, I yes. have a question. You know, not picking on you, but you're the neighbor. I can handle is, it. Is the fence that's <laughs> back on your side, your rear yard, I'm assuming it is? Mm -hmm. No, I have no rear yard. Okay. <laughs> well, you got a fence. Was it your fence or is it her fence? It's my fence. Well, it's their fence, but my yard, I own like <laughs> around those two properties. I'm just concerned with his fence on his side. Uh, the, the fence extends out from the corner, the be the southwest corner of my garage. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I'm not sure, it's been 34 years since I bought the property and that fence was in place at that time. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter, I mean, I'm not, opposed to it being replaced, even if it is across the property line. Uh, okay. The, her, their backyard extends about, what, three feet past the southern edge of my property, so that it kind of cuts up and then adjacent to Jarrah's property. Um, but I'm not certain that that piece of fence at the back, if it's uh, the, the one that the one that attaches to my garage is about three feet. Then it turns and runs along their adjacent property. I'm not sure about that little three-foot piece if it's on their property or mine. Okay. To be quite honest, might might be on mine. Given that, I think I think there might be about a half a foot to a foot behind that garage. It's actually our property, but obviously it's not something that we use. So it basically is part of their yard practical everyday use. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, if, if we approve it, when I'm saying we are, we're not approving for you to put the fence on his property. We're approving it to put the fence on your property. Correct. So whether you have it surveyed or not isn't an issue for us, but we would hope that you would have it surveyed because if you put the fence on the opposite side, which is next to them, and you put it up where you think it is, and it turns out when they have it surveyed, your fence is on their property, they're, they're gonna probably ask you to remove it. Right, so. I totally understand. So the way our houses are zoned out, if you was to look in our backyard right now, how our houses are like over 100 years old, um, the back fence, they own the garage, it's into our backyard. So like the back fence, kind of cuts into their garage. Um, and that's what we've been talking, I've been talking to Zoni about, because all I was doing and I was explaining to them is like lifting out the, the old chain link fence and exactly putting it exactly where it's at now. And I asked him about that garage being there. And it was, the way the property is lined up, it's something that's like kind of grandfathered in from years ago as zoning as I believe. No. There's no grandfather. You you own your property. They own their property. I, no, he owns I his totally property. If, that. if their garage happens to be on your property, that's an encroachment. It, it's allowed to stay, but it's an encroachment. Right. Mr. Chairman, if we're I if I can jump in, we still can't allow. We're not approving anything to say you can put the fence up on his property or their property. No, that's not what I'm trying to do at all. Well, it sounds like the fence on his side is on his property. I I don't know. Well, if it starts at the garage, your, your garage is either on her property or if it's on your property, the fence is on your property. So 
I, I highly, you know, I, I don't have a question on yet on the height of it yet, but um, I'm just saying is that I highly recommend before you install it that you have the property surveyed. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. No matter what, just make sure you're building the fence on your property. Yeah, that, that's all. <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's all we're. I don't try to touch nobody else's. Right. All I'm doing is doing the existing however it was. That's all well, I was doing. We're, we're telling you that we're, we're, oh. you can't do that. If you take that fence I will do a survey. That's perfectly fine. I okay. can have that outline my property. That's perfectly yep. fine. We're saying that the fence, if you put it up, it's got to be on your property. It, yes. Unless I, you have an agreement, and I would get it in writing, um, with your neighbors as to, hey, uh, can I put it back right where it was? I'm paying for it. It's you know right where it was. We're all good. I'm giving you maintenance, uh, you know, to the back of the garage. Everybody's happy. And you've got another issue with your other neighbor on the other side. So, you know, uh, one of our longtime members of no longer here says fences don't make good neighbors. So, um, I, my only other question is. Uh, it's, I'm really just asking for three pieces of wood fence to be allowed to get exchanged. That's all I'm asking. No, you're asking to have fences put up on your property, when, and that's the discussion. We appears there's fences that are yeah. not on your property. But there's an existing fence located on my property already. If, if, if your fence is on your property, you can replace it. That's what I'm asking. Okay, but if your fence is on his property, you can't replace it. But we could reach an agreement. You can reach an agreement, agreement between the you. only thing in question first. Yeah. My property is that little three foot section that's attached to the back corner of my garage. I'm willing to reach an agreement that they can replace that if, if that would hold up to that her project. Mr. Chairman, if I could jump in. So the agenda item tonight is for a side yard fence that is exceeding the four foot limit. Um, by law, the fence has to be on your property. However you guys want to come to that agreement is up to you all. But tonight's application and our conversation should be focused on the side yard fence, which is the six foot fence, which is currently not existing, just for the record. Right, I, I just don't yeah. want them thinking that, hey, I can take the fence down and put it right back up where it was when, sure. when it might be the neighbor's fence that you're taking down. Those are your issues. My question is, why do you need a six foot fence for just dogs? I'd like a privacy area. And then if, if you could please come back up to the podium um, for any questions directed at you, please. I would just like a nice private, private backyard. I'm trying to make a little patio back there, make it really nice, a private area for me and my family. Well, your backyard, you can put up a six foot fence. It's the side yard. Why, why do we need a six foot fence? To go to my back, do my back door, just easy access so we can go out instead of having to go down the stairs, open up a gate to go into the backyard. I'm just asking for two pieces of wood to go to my back stairs. You, you can put a fence down the side four foot tall. It's, you can't put on the side yard a six foot tall fence. I think it would just look better with a six foot fence area. <laughs> okay. my, back, my back door is pretty high. It, it would kind of look funny having a four foot meet up to my back patio stairs. Mr. Chairman, if I may, and in talking with the applicant, um, <coughs> she has concerns of the dogs jumping over a four foot fence out of the side door because there's a ledge, you know, it's three foot up to begin with. So the six foot would prevent that from happening. Yeah, and also, the reason sure. for a six foot fence is all because. To prevent kids, there have been kids jumping our fences in our area lately, and I want them out of our backyard. So preventing that, they would not jump over the six foot fence. I found someone's bank card, a chain just two days, mowing my grass. They don't belong back there, it's a <coughs> private area. Okay, so, so they're jumping it. over my fence and then walking down their driveway. That's unacceptable. Okay, now, now I've got a reason for a six foot fence. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any questions besides me? <laughs> You're making this difficult on me. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's our course. job. <laughs> um, I would like to make a motion to approve this variance and in, in doing so, make sure that all necessary permits are obtained. We have a motion to approve. I'll second. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? No. 
we're, we're not we're not telling you to survey. We're recommending you. That's just kind of a verbal because yes. that's that's to protect you. We have a, a motion with a second. There are no questions. You please call the roll. Uh, Dan Delahunt. Yes. Greg Pujo. Yes. Dr. Siemens. Yes. John Fike. Yes. So the variance for a six foot fence in the side yard is approved. Thank you very much. Yep. Is there any other business to come forward? No other business. Um, there will be a meeting next month. Just a heads up. We do have two applications right now. Okay. So. And that is June 15th. So I believe that's June okay. 15th. Yep. yep. I, I will be here. Perfect. If we have a, um, can we have a motion to adjourn, please? So move. Second. All those in favor say aye. We aye. are adjourned. Thank you. Awesome. That's a little we're, we're, you're doing something.